So do you think that the change could come from Muslim women living abroad? Do you think that it could affect even the societies? I think that, yeah, I think there are many ways towards the change. But one of the movements that I belong to is called Musawa, which is the Arabic word for equality. This movement was launched in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia in 2009. And it's a movement for equality and justice in the Muslim family. What they try to do is to um, use the work of female and male scholars of Islam, but also activists on the ground, to change Muslim family law, which is very biased against women and is, not, is often at odds with the legal system in the country or the constitution in the country. And I think in the various countries that, that they operate in, they're a movement, so they're not an organization. They have um, women's movements and human rights activists who work with them in various countries. They're about to um, open up their uh, headquarters, basically international headquarters are moving to Cairo which I think is very important because women in Egypt definitely need this kind of help because when you have, um, and, and this is the idea that it's women from all over the world helping not just Egypt but, but Muslim issues everywhere. When you look at a country like Egypt and you have a parliament that is dominated by Islamists, 70% Muslim Brotherhood and Salafists, who are going to use the most conservative interpretations of Islam and, and pretend to want to care about Egypt's moral values, you need to fight them with a religious in an interpretation that offers people other ways to look at religion. And that's why it's very important that Musawa is opening in Egypt. And I think the role of women in the United States, I mean, I, I, uh, I mentioned to you that there are imams in the US that are marrying Muslim women to non-Muslim men. This is a huge taboo in many parts of the, the Islamic world. And you could never do that in Egypt or Lebanon or, or many countries in the Middle East, for example. But the fact that it's happening in the US and in parts of Canada as well, so the fact that it's happening in North America by imams, I think will show um, countries across the world that have Muslim populations that here is a Muslim cleric who is willing to officiate uh, a marriage in which a Muslim woman is married a non-Muslim man. And so I want the change to come from wherever. There are scholars in Egypt who are working on the change, there are scholars outside of Egypt. But I think the most important thing is to challenge this idea that only conservative scholars uh, control Islam, or only conservative scholars give us the real Islam. There are many types of Islam, and, and I hate it when people say, if only we practice the real Islam. There's no such thing as the real Islam. There are 1.5 billion Muslims around the world, there are 1.5 billion Islams. There isn't just one.